I've spoken about this a million times and I feel as if I'm kind of a broken record. I know this, I really am. But one of the great things about having a podcast, having a YouTube channel, having a live stream is that you're encouraged to be a broken record because there are some people that tune in that have never seen you before. So they're hearing it fresh. But other people that have heard you speak about it are like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I get it. I get it. But we're going to talk about it anyway, because you know what? I can do what the hell I want. So <laughs> I've been speaking about this topic ad nauseum, and I feel like I'm just as bad as these girls or just as bad as these people, because I speak about how much I hate this shit. And they speak about the shit that I hate about as much as soon as, you know, as often as possible. You know, that's that. That's what I'm trying to get at. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's these relationship topics that seems to be the main crux of black urban based podcast. They all seem to be obsessed with talking about love, relationship, sex and money. Now, some of you would say, Bagasino, you're black. That's all you care about. True. <laughs> But I want something more for us. I'm 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 the great pretender. I want something more. I don't read a ton of books, right? And I've got a couple of new books actually, as you can see here for the month of flipping um what you call it, right? I've got a couple of new books over here, as you can see here, right? I've got the 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 Moby autobiography, porcelain, and I've also got this book here called Very Important People about um um a former model talking about her escapades in the party scene. So obviously I'm a very intellectual guy, but I do all this stuff just to posture, just to posture, just to kind of um book virtue if that's a if that's a thing right and to kind of you know at least throw up another image of what a black guy is meant to be just another one like oh my god look at him he's looking he's gonna rob me oh my god he's reading a book he's safe <laughs> you know that's what i try to do so i am maybe part of the problem because i'm not being maybe true to my dna true to my code i'm not out here wearing flipping christian louboutin shoes and crossing my legs every minute okay i understand that but i want more for my people i want more for my people and a one for my, more uh, one I sound like I'm speaking um, like um, Igbo, isn't it? Um, the one thing I want for my people is this. I want them to stop with these topics. Please, for the love of God, stop with these topics because they're so boring, they're so reductive, and they don't go anywhere. And the ones I'm talking about is this topic. Please, for the love of God, please stop. Curse of the Shade Borough. Let's play this clip. And unfortunately, so, yeah, I wish a lot more women would just... I think that once we take out that stigma and reject the stigma being ours, yeah. Because if I cheat, it's okay for the man to do the same to me. Oh, let me be the one that's crying ho 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 around the city. <laughs> it is me that cheated. Yeah, I will wear my crown. Yeah, sorry, I don't know if you speak about life. Yeah, is life, most, is, but yeah, life, life is life happened. Yeah. Do you get yeah. it? I feel like I've gotten to a place in my life where you can't shame the shameless. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. if you if you are dead to shame, there's little. Okay, if I cheat tomorrow and you want to leave, I respect you. If you want to stay with me, don't feel you be using it to judge me every day because me, I've won the crown of a cheater. <laughs> I cheated. Uh -huh, okay, but I still, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're happy to be. Let's just say your man cheated. You you you, you chop it and move on. No, are you asking if cheating is a deal breaker for me? Is she in a deal breaker for you? If I'm going to be very honest, no. Brilliant, right? I'm sure there's a queue of men waiting to pick her up because if she's not a deal breaker, that means you have no deal breaker. So, you know, you can do what the fuck you want. So clearly, loads of men who are very manipulative, loads of men who, ha you know, who only kind of try to spot women who are very insecure, they're going to be lining up outside of her door. And I'm pretty sure she'll tell you she's probably not sure of options. That aside, do we really need to have a conversation again? How many times have we seen these type of conversations, these type of topics in various forms with various Nubian queens? How many times do we need Nubian queens to sit in front of very good quality microphones, very good cameras, talking about this nonsense every single day? Like, God almighty, surely you must have more to contribute to the world. And the funny thing is, if you tell these women, oh, all you have to offer the world is your pussy and your face card, they're going to get angry. They're going to get frustrated. They're going to say, how dare you? I'm more than that. I have a brain. I have a doctor's degree. I have a master's from fucking open university. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Then show us. Show us. Black girl magic, show us. Black boy magic, show us, please. Because what the hell is this? Sitting here talking about, oh, um, it's cheating a deal breaker, bruh. What kind of messages are you sending out to the universe? 
I'm really big on what kind of words you put out there. I'm really big on the secret. I'm really big on having pictures of what I want on my wall. Hmm, I want a gold house. Picture on my wall. Hmm, I want an amber rose docile wife. Picture on my wall. Hmm, I want a cupboard and a wardrobe full of the latest Balenci and Rick Owens on my wall. Hmm, I want a wife that's not going to have any standards, <laughs> right? <laughs> and any self-confidence or anything going for her own life is going to latch completely on me so I can manipulate and take a bunch of her as long as possible on my wall. Of course not. I'm into something. Who is? No one's into that thing that actually has a brain. But this is what they're into. How can you have a mood board? How can you practice? Um, how can you practice appreciation? All that sort of nonsense, right? How can you? How can you? Um, how can you? How can you have all this nonsense? All of these buzzwords. How can you have all those little placards and little frames that single girls have on the side of their bed frames about keep calm and keep carry on or whatever nonsense they have, right? Love is light or whatever those IKEA fucking slogans are. But then you're running around with these sort of mindsets. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? All this therapy you're paying for, and here you are sitting here, op you know, advertising to the world that you have many, many issues. And all you need is a nice looking man to come across and kind of, you know, tick some of your boxes, whatever it may be, buy you a shitty, shiny Chanel bag, and all of a sudden everything is okay. These topics are redundant. We don't care. They don't really matter. They don't do anything. If anything, they make you look bad, bro. Like, come on. Have some standards. Have some class. Have some shame, even. Because why are you advertising this? Even if this was true, even if this is you, surely advertising it to the world isn't the greatest thing. Because who are you going to get in your DMs? Just loads of cheaters. <laughs> Just loads of fucking fuckboys. You know? Then you're there saying, I don't want a fuckboy. But then you're signaling, you want fuckboy. Come on, man. You don't want fuckboy, you want fuckboy. Of course. Like, come on. I'm fed up with it. It's annoying. But then on the same token, on the same token, I say all these words... I pontificate, I shout into the void, I get angry, I get flustered, I get hot, I get sweaty like I'm black youngster on a roll of molly and coke, right? I'm dripping, I'm wet. But the reality of it is, these videos get hundreds of thousands of millions of views. I bet you if you go on the Shade Barrow's Instagram comments or views things, you'll see this thing got millions of flipping or thousands of likes and views. If it's on TikToks, millions of flipping likes and views. So clearly, I'm in the minority. I'm in the minority here. I think that most people, most people, most people love this shit. Most people love this shit. So clearly, I'm in the minority. And I think a lot of people out there talk out their ass. They say they, they, say they like, they say they hate it, but they like it anyway. And I wonder why. I wonder why people love these asinine, repetitive, boring questions and topics every single day. Like, surely this is not what you should... And again, I'm not telling you to go listen to NPR or New York Times every day. No, not every day has to be intellectual day. But surely, not every day has to be, uh, <laughs> should a guy pay for the first day? Should you wear your natural hair or hair wear a wig? Is makeup cheating? What? How tall should your boyfriend be? Will you fuck somebody on the first night? Do you use protection? Do you like to do oral sex? When will you like to get married? How many kids do you love kids? Rah, 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 rah. How much do you have to make in your bank account? Like, come on, bro. Like, really? How many of these topics? Really? God damn, bro. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Big up NJ Ranger. Yeah, exactly. Our shade room is a shade borough. Yeah, big up the shade borough. And <laughs> it's just the same. Bottom feeder content for bottom feeders. And guess what? I'm a bottom feeder too. I'm in a trough. I'm in a trough, right? I'm a little piggy. I'm in a trough too, bottom feeding, because I'm talking about it now. I understand the hypocrisy. I get it. My middle name starts with a H. No, it doesn't. But it's still, for the joke, I understand. But come on, man. Come on. Big up, big up the fashion road, man. Big up, big up, my guy. Um, the thing is, 10 years from now on, they'll be making the same points about the same discussions. Exactly. Don't know how they're not. That's the thing. Don't know how they're not. That's the thing. Forget me. Forget me. I'm not the target demographic. Neither are some of you guys in the stream chat. Fair enough. But surely they must get exhausted about talking about the same thing. But then I think about myself, when I go to work, I think about, no, that's not true. When you speak to your work colleagues, what do they talk about every lunchtime? Bitch, you guessed it, the same shit. <laughs> my boyfriend this, my husband that, my cat this, my dog this, my kid that. 
my mum that, my grand this, holiday, I feel ill, it's hot outside, it's cold outside, so maybe some people just like repetitive topics, maybe they like it, oh my god, I can't believe how cold it is, yeah, it's so cold, oh my god, the cost of living, oh, the cost of living, oh my god, my bills, oh, the bills, it's like, bruh. But again, maybe I'm coaching in the same situation because I'm not doing anything different really, innit? I'm still reacting to the same topics, the same stuff on the news. But either way, I would like there to be a change in 2024. Please, for the love of God, can we pull back from this? Can we? Is that possible? I don't think so. But I'm going to try to say my piece and hopefully my voice has some sort of pull and people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what i like to see, okay? Cool. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. Nothing more, nothing less.